Governor Ron DeSantis made a stop in Tampa this morning. He signed a set of bills focused on improving workforce training and vocational education. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tells us how the governor says this is going to put more people into the workforce. A bill that passed unanimously in both the House and Senate in an effort to streamline the classroom to workforce process in the state of Florida will now become law. The bills we're signing today really doubles down on Florida's commitment to vocational education, uh, providing people with skills that can then be applied uh, in the real world. House Speaker Chris Sproul saying there is nothing like it in the nation. This day, but what we found when we threw open all the couch cushions was that we have this disconnected, disjointed workforce system where people are doing little parts of things, but they're not doing it together. Now with the signing of these bills, these systems will have to work together. Governor DeSantis also saying the state will hold schools accountable, making sure they're successful in placing students in jobs. All these colleges pick three areas for these credentials and students go into that program. If they graduate and they don't have job offerings, the student gets the money back. House Bill 1507 also creates the Office of Reimagining Education and Career Help, or REACH, which will be in the executive office of the governor, tasked with coordinating workforce training. Our job has always been to change the trajectory of people we serve. So this gives us an opportunity to provide not barriers, but make it easier for us to do that. Governor DeSantis emphasized the importance of vocational and technical education, saying this new streamlined process will put more people into the workforce with little to no debt. You look at things in aircraft maintenance, you look at things like welding, all these things, there's a demand. These are good paying jobs and it gives you an opportunity to do even better in the future. In Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.